This is the old kirk of Little Dalton. It stands between Dalton and Mausel, not far from Dumfries. It's been out of use since 1633, and the last burials were here in 1788. The kirk is well signposted. In 2003, a great deal of consolidation work took place on the kirk itself. A small car park was constructed. It lies about a half mile from the car park, across a section of field that's been fenced off. It's extremely overgrown. As you get closer to the kirk, the fence on your right is an electrified stock fence. The site is overlooked by Almagill Hill, standing on top of which is a monument to a 19th century huntsman, Joe Graham. Little Dalton ceased to be a parish in its own right in 1609, eventually becoming combined with Dalton, a village that stands nearby, where there's an old kirk and also the present parish church. Little Dalton was once a busy and well-populated crofting community, however it declined. The village itself stood slightly to the, the north. Only remains of the village at all are that of the old corn mill, where there are a few ruins on the Dalton Burn. There was a church here from at least the 13th century, and the present ruins mainly date from the 14th and 15th century, where a period of reconstruction seems to have taken place. Also, such rebuilding occurred probably during Victorian times, creating a sort of Victorian romantic ruin. The church is very similar to the one at Kirkbride at Etiquette Foot in Nithsdale, a simple rectangular building with a sacristy on one side. This was the building where the minister or the priest would keep his vestments and the articles that were used in religious services. Little Dalton Church stood on the lands of Holmains, held by the Crothers family until the early 19th century. The Crothers had been the stewards of Annandale and had been vassals of the Lords of Annandale, but also fought beside Robert the Bruce. The old kirk is surrounded by a rectangular raised bank, presumably the limit of the original cemetery. There are about 20 memorials present, a couple of which are rectangular table tombs. The site seems to become the burial place of the Carruthers family, although there are a couple of other names such as Care present. Dr. William Carruthers is buried within the church itself. The last burial here was in 1788. The carving on the stones here is the, the normal use of local stonemasons. Many of them are surprisingly readable given their age. After it was abandoned in the 1630s, the building has seen some changes. Quite apart from the Victorian park reconstructions, in 2003 there was consolidation and repairs carried out. A number of stones, some of them carved, have been laid on the ground to the north of, of the sacristy, and the entrance can has a couple of, of worked stone arches built into it. <laughs> 